got it got a bit more interesting now I think eighteen ninety nine it's a good view of the city from here Thomas William Wing, Justice of the Peace, so oh, a judge for Suffolk, born the 19th of August 1802, died the 7th of March 1889. Thank you, helicopter. Never mind. It's the Justice of the Peace. Oh, look at that. These ones are amazing. They look like Egyptian, um, you know, the kind of Egyptian tomb things you see. A name for them, I can't think. What year was this one? That was 1904. 41. Rest in peace. 41. 72. 39. That person. What's this one here? Covington. Can't really see that one. That's a good view of London there. You can see some Paul's Cathedral. See that in the distance. I don't know if it'll show on this. It's a long way away, isn't it? Look through the trees there. St Paul's Cathedral. Let's see, Let's see if I can get a view of it. Yeah, St Paul's Cathedral, straight through there. Top of it. See, so that, that's the only thing that survived during the war. They bombed all around there, and it, that thing didn't get hit. It's amazing. Makes you wonder. That survived. <laughs> because that was flattened the area, the Germans really absolutely flattened it. <laughs> right, let's have a look around here. Oh, I'll walk back down now. But as I say, there's a lot more here, but um, you know, if I took the fun out of it, if I showed you everything. Any things I haven't got here, I don't think they'll have any, uh, I think there's like a little, um, there used to be a little buffet place down there, you could get tea and coffee and stuff, maybe at weekends. No, I'm just saying that. It's come during a week like this, there's not many people, so it's great. Come at the weekends, it's, well, it wasn't yesterday, but normally it would be fairly busy. Another, another great big one there, it's lost the top of it, I think. It's just some, no. say so anyway if you've enjoyed this video you know I'm gonna do a whole series on places in South London you know interesting places that I can find to flag up to people maybe not really like that but you know um, so you know if you want to see more please subscribe press the little button down on the right hand side is a picture of a dog it's my old dog and um, then you get a little bell subscribe button you press that and a little bell comes up you can press on that and any videos I do, they'll be flagged up to you. You know, they won't pester you, but they'll be flagged up. Plus, um, uh, if you give it a like, if you like it, if you don't like it, give it a dislike, you know, that's fine. It's all feedback. Obviously, I'm new to it, so I've got a lot to learn. You know, in terms of speaking properly and little things like that, surprising. I've never done anything like this before, so it's all new to me. But it's, it's good fun. Gets me out. I'm trying to build a channel, obviously, you know. So I'm going away, I'm going to, well I was going away to Thailand. I'm supposed to be going on Friday, but obviously I'm not sure. The flight hasn't been cancelled, believe it or not. It's one of the only ones that's still flying, but will they let me in if I do take the flight? Um, I've got the insurance, luckily, it was really lucky. So I took the insurance out the day before the pandemic was confirmed, and then I saw on, it's on TUI, I looked on their site today, and it said, they had a little, uh, lot, you know, they, 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 they'd written on there, Anybody's got a policy taken out after the 3.30 on the 13th is not covered for the COVID-19, COVID or 19, whatever they call it, with the coronavirus. And I got mine the day before, on the 12th, so I was like, oh man, that was lucky. Because if they do cancel the flight and that, at least I'll be able to get my money back. You know, I'll, I'll lose some money, but, you know, it's not that important now anyway. It's one of those things, isn't it? What can you do? Life goes on. 
if I get my money back then I can book it later. But I've a you know, a girlfriend over there, she'd be she's a bit upset because I normally go out and see her twice a year if I can. But anyway, not to worry, that's life. That is life. Okay, I think we're coming to the end now. So uh, thank you for watching. And let's jogger go by. More joggers. Yeah, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and I'm you know I appreciate you watching. Any comments you've got, please leave them. Especially comments about other things that people who know about South London. You know, I've lived here a long time. I do know quite a few places, I'm gonna, which I'm going to film you know, over the next couple of months. On and off. Especially when the summer comes, it'd be nice. So, um, but if you know anything, if you've got any comments, if you anything you want to see or hear, let me know and I'll do my best to, uh, to please you, yeah? It's all right. So I can add some value to your life and, you know, it's all good. It's fun for me, fun for you. All right, then. Thanks a lot. I'll sign off now then. Bye. Right. Well, let's let you see this last little bit. We're going back down to the entrance. That's it. And I'll fade out.